Is there a better way to sync your Trello cards with your calendar? Yes, there is, and I'm going to show you how. Hello, everyone. Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity, helping you to get more done and enjoy less stress. And you know, one of the most common complaints I hear about the calendar sync within Trello is that it takes so long for changes to appear on your online calendar. And the reason for that is that when you make a change, after you've set up your calendar sync using the calendar power-up, changes that are made here within your Trello board can sometimes take as many as several hours before they are reflected here within your calendar. And that can be awfully difficult as you're making changes and you're wanting to make sure if that sync is still intact. But there's another issue that many of us complain about, and that is even though I can see that Trello card appear in my calendar, I can't make any changes here within my calendar. There's no edit button. All I can do is get that direct link to go back to the card, but I can't actually adjust this due date. Well, today I want to introduce you to the Trello Connector by Chronify, which gives you a true two-way sync. And I'm also going to show you how to set it up without having to waste or use up any power-ups within Trello. So let's get started with my online calendar. And here you can see I've got a bit of duplication going on between events here. You can see I have some in green, and then I have some all blue events as all day events up top. What I've got going on here is I've got one sync using the traditional or the standard calendar power up within Trello. Those are the green ones here. And here up above, I have the Chronify Trello connector sync going on as all day events. So another issue, let's start with the traditional sync, is that every due date within Trello must have a corresponding time as well. Trello doesn't allow you to select an all day event. So here you see I've got this due date for July 19th, and it's due at 12 noon. I can change this time, but every due date must have a time. And that can be a little awkward when you see those cards in your calendar because often those cards represent a due date for like a task, right? So it doesn't really have a specific time like eight in the morning or five in the afternoon. Therefore, some of us may prefer to have them appear as all day events. And that's exactly what you can do with the Chronify connector. You don't have to have them show up as all day events, but in this example, I've chosen chosen to show them as all day events rather than just these specific times here. So that's one of the nice features of having this uh, sync with the Trello connector by Chronify. But let's get back to the bigger issue. That is the delay and also the ability to edit right here from within your Google Calendar. So, for example, let's say that I am in my Trello board here and I want to make a change to this one here. It's due on July 21st, but you know what? I need to bump up this request. So I'm going to select July 19th. I'm pushing it ahead two days. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to close this card and I'm immediately going to go to my Google Calendar. Now, I'm going to hit refresh on this page. And let's see what happens. After hitting refresh, you will notice that that Trello item, that Trello card has moved from the 21st to the 19th, just like I told it to in Trello. But notice the traditional sync, it's still here. It's still here on July 21st at 12 noon, and it might not move for some time. Even though I have that power up and I have that URL sync set up, it might take a few hours before this shows up over here. So it's almost an immediate sync. When you change a date on a due date within Trello, it's going to update your online calendar immediately. So that is fantastic. But let's look at it from the other direction here from within Google Calendar. If I want to change something about this team meeting agenda in the traditional sync, of course, there's no edit button. I can go directly to the card if I like, but there's no way that I can change this due date. However, with the Chronify sync, I can open up 
this event and you'll see I have an edit button. If I click on this and I say, you know what, I want to push this out to Saturday the 21st and I'm going to hit save. Now we see it changed over here. Here's the team meeting, it's moved to the 21st. But I'm sure some of you are probably thinking, wait a minute, Scott, have you broken your Trello board? What's going to happen on the Trello side? Well, I'm going to go over to my Trello board and I'm going to refresh this page for just a second. Now here is that same card. Initially, it was a due date of July 19th and we pushed it to July 21st. Now, here's something that I've noticed as I've been working with the Chronify connector. If we open up this card to see a few more details about the due date, you'll see it actually didn't change it quite until July 21st, but it did change it to July 20th at 5 p.m. I believe this may be hard-coded into this service as a end of day or end of work day. That if I am using the all day events view, remember I'm using the all day events view here in Google Calendar, what it is going to do is set that due date for the end of the previous work day. So I've noticed that when making changes, uh, not within Trello, but when making changes within your calendar service and you're using the all day event, it is going to default to the previous date at 5 p.m., which may actually not be such a bad thing so that you can complete that task or whatever this card may represent. You can complete it in advance of that due date. But the important thing here is that I can mix and match. I can change things here within the Google Calendar or I can change things where maybe I feel more comfortable within my Trello board and it is going to be updated immediately. Here you can see I still have that team meeting. The one that I just changed is still, is still sitting here on the 19th. Uh, it's been a couple of minutes since I changed this one, the reach out to Leslie. Remember I changed this to the 19th? That looks perfectly fine, right? It's due on the 19th in Trello and on my Google Calendar, but it's still sitting here using the traditional method. Now, the one last thing I want to point out with using the Trello connector by Chronify is that you don't actually have to use up a power-up. There is a Chronify power-up that you can select from the power-up menu here within Trello. However, if you go directly to trello.chronify.com, you can set it up yourself without wasting another power-up. That's right. You can make use of another power-up here within Trello and then use the connector on top of it. Let me just show you one last thing in terms of the setup of the different options that you have within the Chronify connector. This is just the simple setup to create that connection. You can select which boards you want to be able to sync to your calendar and you can also decide if you only want boards assigned to you or perhaps you want to see all cards that have a due date as it pertains to these boards. And then on the calendar side, once you select the calendar that you want to sync to, you can choose if it's either busy or free. How do you want it to appear on your calendar? And here, as I showed you earlier, you can choose if you want those cards to show as a full day event or if you would like them to show at what duration. Remember, the Trello default duration is always one hour, uh, 12 to one, because my due dates within Trello are all at 12 noon. So it's gonna show up as an hour, but if you'd like it to show up as only 15 minutes or maybe three hours, you can make that distinction here. And I almost forgot this little bonus is that you can enable reminders. Let's go back and do one more comparison. If I open up this traditional calendar sync, you will see that there is no reminders attached to this due date. However, if I open up the Chronify sync, guess what? I've told it that I want a notification the day before at 11 p.m. So you can enable that as well. So I hope that you have fun trying out the Trello connector by Chronify. I'd love to hear what else maybe bugs you or what else frustrates you with Trello or any of the Trello power-ups. Perhaps I have a solution or I can take a look at another workaround in a future video. So be sure to leave your comments down below. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to watch another Simpletivity video, you can click right here. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.